Hi there, my little reading buddies. How are you today? This is your own Gomati auntie. Auntie is super, super excited today because we are going to uh, talk about your fears and we are going to see how we can take away your fears. How many of you here are afraid of the dark? Sometimes in the night you hear all those uh, sounds, right? And all that. And, uh, you know, we immediately... Uh, you know, get scared. Sometimes we go and, uh, you know, hug our parents, you know, sometimes when there's a thunder and, uh, you know, all those sounds scare us. Yes? Today, we're going to read a story about this little fox and how he was super, super afraid of uh, the dark only to know that these were sounds from, uh, and he was hearing a lot of sounds, right? And these were sounds from animals around him. Yes, so we are going to read a story, Who's Afraid of the Dark? Are you? Type me in the comments below if you are somebody who is afraid of the dark. Yes, and before we jump on to the story today, Auntie is conducting a masterclass for parents on how to enable your children to read fluently. I conduct these masterclasses inside of which I share some tips and techniques and tricks on how to make your child a fluent reader. Yes, and you can do that by just spending 15 minutes a day and you can do that in just about 3 to 6 months. So, if you are a parent who wants your child to read fluently and be a lifelong learner, then click on the link below in the description box to join my masterclass and together let's raise lifelong learners because a reader today, a leader tomorrow. Yes, with that, um, let us get on to the story today. Who's afraid of the dark? And let's see what's in store for us, shall we? Alright, now on to the story, Who's Afraid of the Dark? This is written by Melanie Joyce and illustrated by David Gregton Pesta. When you're only little, the night can be big and scary. <laughs> Who is afraid of the dark? Are you afraid of the dark? Can we find out what happens in the story? All right, let's go. Who's afraid of the dark? Igloo books. If you go into the dark and tiptoe about all night, nothing will look the same as it does when it is light. The sun will sink from the sky and the moon will shine fat and round. How many of you have seen those, uh, you know, beautiful moon, the round, round moon in the night? Full moon? Yes? Awesome! Shapes will creep from the wood and screech along the ground. Ah. But there's no need to worry or for you to be afraid. The shapes are only shadows that the branches of the trees have made. Aha! There's nothing to be worried. Yeah, it's true. The dark is full of things that creak and crack and moan. Things that jump, things that go bump and things that grumble and groan. But you will find it's just a badger. Yes, that's just a badger munching on a midnight snack. Shuffling over twigs and sticks along the forest track. Perhaps he'll stop for a chat or play a game or two. Then he'll be on his way Wave goodbye and say, Thank you, Badger. If you do go into the dark, always remember to look behind because 
lurking in the shadows, who knows what you might find. Bats could fly out of the trees and get tangled in your hair or suddenly you'll hear a snap and ask, <laughs> Is anybody here? <laughs> it will only be the night owl swooping through the sky. <laughs> He'll say to you as he goes flying by. The fluffy owlets in the nest might sing a song for you. They'll flap their little wings and go, Uh -huh. Have you heard these sounds before? The sounds of the owl, the sounds of the bat. But are there really monsters hiding in places you can't see? And do you think to yourself, Are they following me? Oh my God! How many of you think that? That there is a ghost, there is a monster that's following you? Huh. If you are thinking that, don't worry. It's only the hedgehogs shuffling by the wall, making their way back to their house and not monsters after all. If you go out into the dark and miss the daytime sun, remember that playing in the moonlight can really be lots of fun. You can splash in the glittery pools and watch the little fish. If a shooting star zooms by, then you can make a magic wish. Ah, how many of you have seen a shooting star in the sky? If you have not seen a shooting star before, ask your mama, papa to take you to the terrace in the night, dark night, especially around the new moon time and you can watch one or two, if you get lucky, one or two stars. When you hear a scratch and scratch or maybe a distant howl, it will only be a god dog or maybe a kitty on the prowl. You will hear noises at night and wonder what they could be. It doesn't mean they are scary just because you can't see. Aha, uh -huh, you see, just because you can't see doesn't mean it's scary. It's no ghost, it's no monster. It's these animals that make all these noises. A howl by a dog or a scratch screech by a cat or an owl. Yes? So if you are afraid of the dark and think you should beware, remember that you are not alone and someone will always be there. You will get a hug and a kiss and maybe a story too. Ah, do your parents do that to you? Mm, does mama, papa, you know, do you go and hug them and say, Amma, I am so afraid of the dark, I am scared to go to the bathroom. And then you get a hug and a kiss, don't you? And even a story sometimes. Then you'll yawn and know that it really is bedtime for you. You will just curl up safe and warm in the glow of the light. And think of all the things that you saw in the night. You might hear a snap or a hoot, or a crack, or a bark. But you'll know just what it is and won't be afraid of the dark. After all, there are all these animals. Some animals like to be active in the night, especially uh, the owls, the bats. They like to be active in the night. They're called nocturnal animals. Yes? And so... It's them who are making the noise. At daytime, you make the noise, don't you? So, it's just some animals out there. There is nothing to be afraid of. Yes? 
And so the next time you hear these uh, scary sounds or the dark, who's going to be brave? Yeah, say me, me, me. I know you are going to be this brave little, uh, you know, warrior who's going to be not afraid of the dark anymore. Yes? Awesome. Awesome. I, I love this story. How many of you love this story? Awesome. Wow, and that was the end of that story. And wow, did you realize how there are multiple of these animals in uh, the night who are active only in the night? You know, an owl, a bat, a dog, uh, sometimes uh, crickets, uh, you know, these small, um, you know, insects. All of them come out only in the dark. And because they are out there active, they are making these noises. And we unnecessarily, you know, get worried about these noises, right? From today, I hope you will be much braver than you used to be before. Yes? Yes? Give me a high five if you are uh, going to tell me that you're going to be braver. Yes, give me a high five. High five. Awesome. Awesome. Good job, my child. And uh, with that, we come to the end of the story and end of this episode. If uh, you have not subscribed to Little Story Station yet, consider clicking on the link, um, you know, that looks just like this and uh, subscribe to Little Story Station. And don't forget to click on the bell icon. Yes, that's how you will be notified every time auntie uploads a new video. And for those of you who love the story, like and share with your friends so that more of your friends are uh, able to become brave people. Yes. All right. Auntie will see you again in another exciting episode, a funny story or your favorite story. But until then, keep reading a lot of books. Yes. Promise me that you will read one book every single day. Yes. With that, take care and love you so much, my dear. And bye-bye.